This episode of Yakuza requires a content warning. There is an ableist slur, specifically the R slur, at the timestamp shown on the screen. Hello, welcome back to Yakuza. Back at it again at Theater Square. I do want to see you do a bunch of backflips and kick a sign off of a floor, though. Would be pretty rad. Anyways, we found out where Stardust is. Time to go there. It's near the bar we actually like. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was checking my health because I think I'm gonna uh, top myself off. Alright, time for some ice cream. Yeah, you can heal by going into any uh, restaurant or food serving place in the game. You do get experience for it, just like in the modern games, but unfortunately they don't track how many uh, items you've ordered off the menu. Also, the brand placement isn't as obvious, and it makes me... I don't know if that's better or worse, because... <laughs> Part of the fun is trying to see like how much they're trying to advertise other stuff in the game. Also, hello. Hello, street hoodlums. Sing. Oh wait, no. Two more guys. Oh no. Mm -hmm. We're also hoodlums. Hello. Eventually, Yakuza became Sega's cash cow and like brands. Will be tripping over themselves to get into this game. But in the first game, it's just the alcohol is branded. Uh, they had a hard time getting product placement because a lot of companies did not want to be associated with the Yakuza. Yakuza, I don't know about that. And then flash forward 10 years. Yakuza, hell yeah, getting into that action. Mm hmm. I, I tried to do a heat action, but I moved a little too much, and the heat action went away. I got sick of it. Well, guess we just have to end this fight with a normal punch. Mm -hmm. What you see is what you get. I'm just a Yakuza who loves adventure. We're not a Yakuza. We're ex-Yakuza. We've been thrown out. Look. Kiryu Yakuza will always be a Yakuza in his heart. Hey! What are you doing? You got some business with our bar or something? I'm here to meet the owner, Kazuki. Hey, shithead! What family do you work for, anyway? Huh? I bet you're from the Shimano family. We don't need to be taken care of by some gangsters. What are you talking about? I'm just looking for Kazuki. I'm not Yakuza. You think I'm a fucking idiot? Look at you, fuckhead! You couldn't be any more Yakuza if you tried. So, what the hell do you want? What do you want with Kazuki-san? Relax. I didn't come here to fight. I just want to talk to Kazuki. Shut the fuck up! Just because you're a Yakuza doesn't mean you can boss everyone around. Even in this city. People do just fine. Without any help from the fucking Yakuza. They make an honest living. Unlike you. At least Kazuki-san has made a name for himself without any help. You fucking Yakuza. Don't fuck with Kazuki-san. How many times I gotta tell you, I'm not Yakuza. You retarded or just deaf? Fuck you. You're not coming in here, you fucking asshole. Yeah, in Kiwami, this character has a very deep voice in the Japanese dub, and he is built a little more ridiculously. Like, right now, he's, you know, in shape, but in Kiwami, he has almost like a gorilla-like build. He looks ridiculous. So it would be even more painful when he flops on him. Yes. Alright, punch him into the DVD store. All the way up that staircase, come on. Take this! Jeez. And that's his bow. All of them. And she did a heat action off on him. It's very hard 
for bosses, especially when all you can do is that particular heat action anyways. Rip. Goes down with a single limp punch. Damn! Yuya! What the hell are you doing? I'm sorry, Kazuki-san. For this Yakuza! You're from Dojima, Kazuma-san, right? That's right. My apologies. Fumazan told me you were coming. Please, come in. Move over here, let's talk around. I'm not going to talk to everyone in the game, obviously, but... For this area, we can talk around a bit. Okay, now it's time to go upstairs. I would like to talk to this specific couple. Other than that, no. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I thought you were... No. It's my fault. How do I begin to apologize? Forget it. Anyway, what's your connection to Fuma Oyobun? Well, Yuya, please leave us. Yeah, sure. Fuma-san has taken care of me since I opened this bar. Without demanding any money, he's taught me how to run a business in square one. Now, thanks to him, I have this bar. Fumasan came in the other day. Said he wanted to use this bar to welcome a very important person home, but in a secret sort of way. I see. So, where is Oyabun? I talked to him earlier, but he said he's tied up right now. You know how it is with the chairman. Chairman? What happened? Well... The third chairman of the Tojo clan, Sarah, was killed. What? Around midnight last night. They still haven't found the killer. It was just on the news. What's going on? I don't know. Tojo clan families have taken to the streets, fighting one another for territory. Ten years ago, after Dojima was killed, Many of his men went over to Fuma's family, and Fuma's family was unstoppable. Other families couldn't touch them. But a few years ago, someone on the inside betrayed Fuma, causing a divide. Who was it? It was... Hey! Get the owner over here, now! We're interrupting him, see? That looks like trouble. Better power up. Ultimate weapon! That sounds fun. <laughs> it's just the heat actions for the weapons. Uh, Alright, now I can just bash somebody over the head real good. Yeah, now heat actions are a lot easier to pull off and a lot more useful. You want to get um, that power up as soon as you can. Anyways, I missed this on my first playthrough. There's an item box here. <laughs> You only have nine slots for items in the first Yakuza game. Oh, jeez. Uh, in Zero, you start out with 20. <laughs> for comparison's sake. Hear you, what happened to your pockets? Excuse me, Kazuma-san. Way better than the picture. Well, well, well. It's about time the owner shows his face. You must be Shimano's men. Let me tell you, we came here to get some drinks and talk. You know, have some fun. Then this kid over here tells us to leave. Hope we don't have a problem. Dirty bastards, you came here to shake us down. No, no, no. We just wanted to have some drinks. Bullshit! Excuse me, are you calling me a liar? I'm sorry. I have a very important guest here. Please, take this. This is unexpected. I really didn't come here for this, but if you insist... Kazuki-san, what are you doing? No! I can't let you pay them! These assholes don't deserve our money! Assholes? 
Is that what you said? You better watch your tongue, kid, unless you want it ripped All out. All right, I guess you're not an asshole. You're a piece of shit. You are so dead, you bitch. Know. The fuck? Who the hell are you? Kazuki. Listen, Yuya has a point. Don't pay these stupid fucks. They don't deserve it. Okay. Don't think you can get away with this, you little shit. Hey, fuck this place up! Let's rip this motherfucker down! Anyways, get ready for the Shimano family theme. Scarlet Scar kicks ass. Dang, they hired an excellent musician. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right, weapon heat action. Nice. Take that. Question one, is there friendly fire? No. There are also no dual heat actions. Oh. Jeez. There is break the man. Also, I swear... I swear you can do other things with weapons, but... For some reason, the ones in this area can you just do that. Break his spine, break his leg. Oh, hey, a bat. Here we go. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, how about another? I gotta this get could knock your pillar down. I just realized you. You're the one who was sent to the pen for killing Dojima. <laughs> this is gonna be a great gift for our Oyabun. Kazuma-san! <sighs> Shit! It... It's Tanaka! Shinji? What the fuck are you doing here? I don't think this is your territory, asshole. Next time, I won't be so nice. It's been too long, Anaki. Yeah. Looks like you got a promotion, Shinji. Promotion? I guess. Kazuma-san, back to what I was talking about earlier. The guy who betrayed the Fuma family and caused the split. Yeah. It was Nishiki. Nishiki? With Terada of the Omi family from Osaka behind him, Nishiki was preparing to start his own family. The Omi family? Anaki, I'm the head soldier of the Nishiki family, you know. What the hell do you mean? Anaki, Nishiki's changed now. He's just not the same person that he used to be. That's why Fuma Oyabun's this concerned. So, he had me join Nishiki's family to see what they're up to. Shinji. Oyabun wrote me a letter, said that he had something to tell me. Is there any way I can see him? He's at headquarters until the third chairman's funeral tomorrow. He can't leave for any reason. And of course, there's the matter of the 10 billion. What are you talking about? I heard the 10 billion yen was stolen straight out of the Tojo clan safe. Right after it was made known at a meeting, the chairman was killed. Oyabun. He'll be at the funeral tomorrow? Yes. Wait, you're not gonna go, are you? I mean, what if you're seen by some of Shimano's men? Kazuki. Yeah? Save your breath. He's not gonna listen to anyone. That's our Kiryu, not reasonable at all. Make sure you eat some ice cream mm. before you go. I'll be right back. So I don't think the upcoming area is difficult, but it can catch you off guard, and I am not getting caught off guard this playthrough. <laughs> so I'm going to stock up. I've Unfortunately, we don't have access to my preferred healing item, which are the um, health supplements, the drinks. So we're just going to take four box lunches. <laughs> now what about the cat food? What if you encounter cats? I don't think the cat food has any use. I don't know why it's in this game. 
can't feed any cats, can't eat it. Can't use it for a heat action. <laughs> just throw some kibble at somebody and cats will just pounce on them. <laughs> oh god, what's the one district that has a whole lot of cats in it? Oh god, I don't know. I'm, I'm just thinking of the rabbit island. Just go to that district, throw kibble at mm -hmm. somebody, and cats will devour them on the spot. <laughs> 